What is a selector in NGRX and how you can use that to select data from our store or query data from our store, we'll see in this video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. What is a selector? So selector is a pure function which will grab a slice of data from your store. So you can think like it will query to the store that I need this data. Either it, it may be from uh, one slice of data or, or it can be combined with a both set of data and we'll see all that. In our previous video, we have discussed about our action, our reducer and our effects. With that also we are able to get the data to our component. But if you remember in the first video, I told about the selector and the component should only get the data from the selector and should only dispatch some action. So if we'll check the diagram here, our component is depend on the selector means it will get the data from the selector and it will dispatch some action. So if we'll go to the code in our component means in our movie component, we are selecting all the movies from our store. And this is also possible without the NGRX selector. So this is also a kind of selector which is going and selecting a particular set of data from your whole store. We have only movies now, but it's selecting all movies from our store. By using selector, we can do a lot more and we'll do that. So I will go ahead to the store and I'll create a folder called selector. And inside that we'll create a file we'll name as movie selector. Like our create action, create reducer and create effects, we have a method to create our selector. And you guessed it correctly, it's create selector. So we'll create that one and we'll give the name as movie selector and it's equal to create selector and we'll just import this one. And inside our selector, we'll write our code to fetch data from our store. So first we need to know what is our store means what is our state currently so that we have inside our reducer. We have an interface called our movie state and inside that I have added a new state means new parameter as user and we are storing that and I will show you why I have added that and now we'll go to our selector and here we'll get all our movies from our movie state. So we'll write our state and the type will be movie state and we'll return our movies. So state dot movies and whatever movie we'll have, we'll pass that to our next function. And here we'll get all our movies and the type will be our read only array of movie and we will return that movie. So what happening here is for a selector, always the last parameter is your return methods means whatever you return here it will go to your component means whoever is selecting the selector they will get the data and all the parameter above that I have one parameter here suppose you have multiple parameter like this then in this case to your method you will get two movies and you can pass or you can iterate between them. You can write your logic and we'll see that after some time. Now we'll go to our component and here we'll use our selector means our movie selector and we'll see how we are getting the data. So to that we'll pipe our store with select and which is again will be from our NGRX and we'll use our movie selector here. So movie selector. Now if I'll open our application and we'll see we are getting our data as previous. So this is working as expected, but now we'll see how we can improve our selector to filter or to query our store and to get the data. But before that, I want to clear some doubts from our previous video, which we haven't able to clear in our previous video. That is a problem in our action. So if you remember, we had faced problem when we returned our action like this. And the reason as I explained, like we are returning a whole object. So as you are returning an array here, that is not getting converted. And the solution was pretty easy. What you need to do, we just need to return what you want from our action creator. And we have done that for all the, all our action. What we're doing here is if you do like this, you will not see the type in your object and now your object will not cause any problem. You can also use your 
props way like the older way but i like this because it is looks cleaner and dispatching action is look pretty cleaner like just a method call and it's your preference which one you will use or not but both the ways are pretty good and pretty efficient and now we'll see how you can write a advanced selector to fetch or filter data so if you see in our reducer i have added a user just a name to our movie state and inside our movie we have added a username and which by default i am setting as subrat and in our in memory service while adding the third movie like edge of ultron i am adding the name as sanjit so we'll see by using our filter we'll fetch only current users data so we'll create another selector i have i will just copy and paste so here we are fetching our movies but we need our user as well so in our second call we'll fetch our user and we'll pass our user to our method and inside this we'll check what we need to return so we'll just iterate through movies and we'll return the data what we'll get from the filter you can assign to a variable and you can return it depends on you so what happening here is we are getting all our movies here we are getting all our users here so we have only one user right now and we are passing that to our executing function which means our last function and here we are iterating through our movies and just selecting which has the same user and we are returning that whole list means whole array if we'll go to our component here instead of selecting to our movie selector we'll just select to our movie user selector and if we'll just go to our application we have two movies like end game and infinity war but if you go to your get movie success and if i expand the data here you will see we have three set of record and here the user in the age of ultron is sanjit that's the reason we are not getting the data but to show you i have added a method called change user and i'll just show you that one i'm calling a method called change user on the button click of change user and in that i'm just dispatching a action called assign user and the sanjit and the what assign user is doing whatever data we are getting from the properties we are returning that and setting that to our state so now if we we'll go to our application now if i hit change user you'll see it's changed to edge of ultron and we have raised an action called as user and our user just changed from subrat to sanjit and we got the data and i haven't added a method to go back so we'll just refresh for now and we'll get the data back so this is the true power of our selector so what is helping us is if you'll go to our component component is pretty simple it's pretty clean you are just selecting to a selector if if you go with a normal like without ngrs application or without selecting a selector you will get the data from the both the store then we trade through the data and assign to another another variable and those kind of things but now your component is pretty clean so now it will be easier to test and also your selector is also easier to test and it also emphasize that you are getting the correct data means correct type of data and one more thing is we have a feature selector also instead of doing this we can also use a feature selector here as well and the syntax will be so it has a method called create filter selector and it'll pass your state so in our case it is movie state and it'll pass the string which you want to select and i can directly pass my feature selector here your feature selector will go and select your whole movie state and it'll give back to our movies and we can return movies dot movies and like that you can go ahead and select so like this also you can use but i prefer uh, to use this way so this is looks little cleaner to me it depends on you how you want to use and now we'll see if you want to pass some parameter or some properties to your selector and you want to select the data from a store based on your properties then how you're going to do that so recently there is a change in our selector how you can do so the older method was deprecated so we'll use the new one so for that we can do like this so i will just 
explain this one we have a constant called greater it's accept a value so in our case the amount and the, as we want to compare all our movies earning so i have passed the, as a number and inside that we are click creating a selector and we are passing our movie selector what we have here which will just return our movies and from that movies we are filtering whatever movie we have and the earning should be greater than or equal to what the amount we are providing and if we'll go to our component and we'll pass our greater method means greater selector and in that we'll pass our value so for now i'll give 2000 and if we'll save and if we'll go to our application here if you see we are getting only two data in this case the earning for this is 2700 and for the infinity war is 204800 but for edge of ultron is 1403 million dollar and if we'll just change that to 1000 here we'll get all three because everything is exceeding that one so inside our set timeout what we are doing is we are again assigning our movie selector and we are passing the value as 2000 so we'll wait for five seconds so if we'll go here so in after that after five seconds it's gone from your screen so this is what a selector can do and this is how powerful it is but behind the scene it's doing little more so what they're doing is it is memorizing our data means it's re remembering our all our selector data so if you will go to our selector here if in our user like if you're passing some property or something if your values is not changing then it is storing your previous record and it's not recomputing the data so in in this case if we are getting same user and we are getting same movies from our state if you are selecting this selector then it's just return your saved data thing like a cache but it's storing in memory if you have a very big amount of data then there is a option also we can clear that one and for that we can write release so if you do that it will release the holding data and if it is get selected again then it will go ahead and recompute your whole operation so that's it for today guys today we saw what is a selector and how we can use that in our code means in our component to fetch data from our store like we, we can filter our data we can pass some property to our selector and can filter the data so our component will looks pretty cleaner it will be pretty helpful to test our component and lot of things so please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos and please share this video among your friends family colleagues and let them know how they can use our selector with our reducer action and effects and how they can make their application pretty good please give a valuable comment in the comment section below those are pretty helpful we're going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye